I'm Robert Cavalier. I'm a member of Carnegie Mellon's uh, philosophy department and also co-director of the Program for Deliberative Democracy. This is a program that began here in the Pittsburgh region around 2005-2004 and I currently work with my colleague Ray Crowley at the Coral Center for Civic Leadership. Together we try to sponsor uh, various programs that highlight uh, the advantages of a more deliberative approach to our democratic decision-making. One of the tools and techniques we use is called a deliberative poll. Unlike a regular poll which simply asks people questions over the phone at 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, the results of which can be easily superficial and manipulated, uh, a deliberative poll takes a random sample of the population and then gives that sample well-balanced background information on a particular issue to be discussed. For example, some of the challenges that are facing the many municipalities in the Allegheny County area. These people who have been uh, recruited are then brought together and broken up into small groups with trained moderators. They discuss the issue, not only in the context of the material that they've read, but also uh, from the perspective of their own lived world, from their experiences. At a certain point in the discussions, various questions will come up that aren't really answered in the materials, and people feel that these would be the kinds of questions that they'd like to hear uh, answers from, from a set of experts. And so midway through the day, uh, these kinds of questions are gathered and presented to an expert panel uh, who acts as teachers and tries to present the information uh, as best they can. Not acting as pundits debating the issue, but uh, trying to help the audience understand uh, the kinds of questions that the audience generated. Then people get back together again in a small group discussion, and then they fill out a survey. At the end of the day, that survey captures what the people think about an issue once they've had a chance to become informed about it, discuss it amongst themselves and with experts. The advantages of this kind of deliberative poll are quite compelling. They not only help to legitimize the process, but they give policymakers more informed, more nuanced uh, citizen opinions that then can help to inform the policies that come out of these kinds of events. On September 25th, there will be a deliberative poll sponsored in large part by the Pittsburgh Foundation. And our program has been working with that foundation and others to develop background materials that will be used for an event to be held here at Carnegie Mellon. Starting in the early part of the day, over up to 300 citizens will come and register. Uh, they'll be seated at round tables with trained moderators, uh, discussions will revolve around some of the compelling uh, financial uh, uh, pressures that are being placed on the 130 municipalities throughout Allegheny County. We hope by the end of the day that this citizen deliberation will become part of a larger Allegheny Forum.